this is Grand Theft Auto 5, this is Forza Horizon 5, and this is a beautiful menu made by me inside Garo Game Engine. When you open a video game, the first thing you see is a main menu. When it comes to main menu, there are basically two approaches to this. One with textures, which should suit the game theme, and the other which uses simple shapes and a nice color palette. Some examples of the first one include Dishonored, Borderlands 3, and some games take it to the next level having an actual book with page flipping animations as a menu. This is Far Cry 2 by the way. On the other hand, games like The Sims 4, Grand Theft Auto 5 and Need for Speed Heat have simple, minimalistic UI design. In this video, we will be creating simple yet modern and intuitive menu inside Godo Game Engine. Let's create a black background, um, red buttons, maybe yellow text, blue highlights. Uh, yeah, this looks uh, terrible. Because the colors do not match. Fortunately, there are many color palette generators online. Uh, let's use one. Um, mm, this looks good to me. Now bring these colors into the Galo engine. If you look at a popular game UI, you will see that we might have a background color, main highlight color, secondary highlight color and other supper two colors. Now that we have a color palette, let's create a main menu. Here we might have some multiplier options. Here we have credit section. We will definitely have options menu. This already looks great, but we do not have options. So let's create one. If you look at some examples, most often game settings are divided into different tabs. Fortunately in Gato we have a tab container node, yeah. We can easily create tabs. As you can see, I made an options menu, but this doesn't look great. Fortunately, there is a plugin in Godot Asset Library called Spin Button, which adds support for a new table button. Let's install it and add some options. I forgot to ask, like and subscribe. Finally, after some tweaking, I made this beautiful starting menu. You can use a mouse and click on the buttons or navigate using a keyboard. The choice is up to you. 